put someone in a bag and then I smack them. Presented by Ninjala. Hey guys, I'm Stella. And I'm Janet. And today Janet is gonna teach me everything I need to know about Ninjala. Ninjala! Ninjala is the latest free-to-play game on Nintendo Switch, and it may be online, but you actually do not need a Nintendo Switch Online account to play it. It is a Battle Royale-style third-person arena fighting game. But it has a unique twist. Instead of having this massive group of players and a space that is constantly closing in, it's actually up to eight players fighting to get the most points. You get those points by knocking each other out and taking down drones. Matches last four minutes long, so the limitation is time rather than space. There's an eight player free for all mode and a 4v4 team battle mode and a story mode is also currently available. There's even a training room so you can try your hand at all the different weapons that the game has to offer and see what best fits your playstyle. And about every two months, there will be new events, stages, cosmetics, plus an optional Ninjala Pass that offers players even more customization. Ninjala! My biggest tips for beginners are to focus on scoring points. The, the way you can score the most points would be just through what essentially is a kill or any pwn in Ninjala, and that is attacking and defeating an enemy. But if you're maybe a little bit averse to jumping into combat, you can also easily score points by striking the drones. This will increase your S energy, and you can use that S energy to make bigger, stronger, more powerful weapons to go ahead and engage in that combat. So I would say my number one tip is to try to fill up that meter right away, make an awesome weapon, and then just go for it. When you and your opponent do the same attack, that's a parry. You can also force these to happen by doing the S burst by pressing ZL while being attacked as long as you have five units of S energy ready to go. Parries lead to standoffs where you can do a normal, wide, or back attack. It's sort of like rock, paper, scissors where you can win, lose, or draw. Winning lets you attack. Losing leaves you open to an attack. And a draw means another parry standoff. You can also get out of the situation entirely by pressing L to dash away. Uh, my other tip is that there are awesome ways to sort of hide within the environment. So you can turn into like boxes, you can become a splotch on the ground. It kind of just depends on when, what, what weapon you end up picking. Another thing to note regarding the weapons is you have 12 weapons total that are available out the gate. You have katanas, hammers, and yo-yos, and they all have different capabilities. So the katana is gonna be great for a beginner because it's a all-around balanced weapon. The hammer is heavy and it does like a little bit more damage, and the yo-yo is really good for range. Another thing to keep in mind too is that these have different sort of specials. So for me, I liked kind of starting out and experimenting with what kind of weapon do I want as a style? And then also which one had the specials I was most drawn to. And of course, I had to just pick some based on design because they have really cool, really unique designs. And that's something that you might want to consider as well when you're looking at what weapon you want to pick, what you want to learn to get good at, uh, which one excites you the most, but also leans into your natural play style. And with all that being said, let's jump into a battle. Yes, let's get it. Do you like how mine looks like my like myself? <laughs> yeah, it actually does look exactly like you. Like, <laughs> mine is how I want my hair to look, but I don't want to spend the money to dye it. <laughs> Battle Royale! Okay, now we have friends. Yay! Are they friends if we're trying to kill each other? They're not friends, <laughs> but... <laughs> I like this map. This is really cool. I know. I'm, like, stressed because there's, like, a lot of places to go. You can see where... Ooh, jeez. You can see where um, people are gonna go based on where the um, drone spawns, because everyone wants to like get the easy points from like destroying a drone. <sighs> what the? What is? What is this guy doing? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, he's gone. Okay. Sorry. I know that's not part of the game. 
<laughs> That's not me focusing on the game, but what in the world? Ooh, I see Cheetos. What's up, Cheetos? Sup? Hello. Sweet. Give me this. Yes. Oh, are you are you gone? Are you dead? Did I get you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Where are you at? I'm like on the like one of the main streets and one of the back alleys. Oops. Ah. Oh no! I got smashed! Rude! So if you blow up a bubble, you have a couple options. And one of them is you can press B twice as a quick back to back, and then you'll sort of be propelled forward with like the gum waving behind you. Oh my god, that's so cool. So really it's like the gum is your biggest asset. You know, whether it's doing your supers or just doing a stun move. I keep forgetting you can climb everything in this. Yeah, and like the the switch to climbing up a building is like really smooth. Yeah. Here's s'mores. <laughs> I got him! Yes! <laughs> See, this is where I was before, this like rooftop area. Oh, okay. Oh my god! What? Oh, finally. That is, that's crazy. Oh, when you can like slide on these rails, these like bubblegum railings. Oh my god! <laughs> I love that one so much. I literally put someone in a bag and then I smack them. Oh, I, I didn't get the big weapon until just now, though. Wow! Yeah! Look at you, Stella. Uh, yay! <laughs> Team battle! Oh boy. Uh oh, there's someone who needs the pro. I don't know, Janet. <laughs> Janet, right? I don't know, man. <laughs> oh my god, they're all right here! <laughs> yeah, it's scary. <laughs> Oh my, I just got beat up by like four people. <laughs> oh, I like that when you um, team up with someone, like I just got an assisted KO because I did my ultimate that did half the damage and then someone else stepped in and did the rest. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're well, winning so far. Yeah. <laughs> I like that I don't have to be the only one beating someone up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Like you can, you can like it's directly really nice. tag team. Yes. All right, all right. Come here. I want to put you in a bag. Ha! <laughs> this orb, man. <laughs> I know. It's whatever they have is really messing me up. I think I'm making the. How do I make the big weapon? Like, um, you have to hold CL for longer so that the bubble's really big. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Is he, he's, he's still here! Get out of here! <laughs> hey, get in the bag! <laughs> oh my god! I feel like the bag move is so, like, it's just really rude. <laughs> oh my god, they are so fast! What? Oh, he has that little, um, bubble. Janet and I just beating up on this poor this robot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Yay! Dude, holy crap! <laughs> the blue team! Ninja Law! So if you go to, um, on the home screen, there is like the little, I think it's a closet icon. Yeah. Yeah, and if you select um, that, you have your different weapons and uh, build outs. And if you select battle equipment, in addition to your weapon, which is like your gum weapon, you also have the Shinobi cards. My current one is one called Sudden Burst, which is I can activate an S Burst one time, even if my S Gauge energy is completely de depleted and it resets each time I respawn. But there's also um, other ones that are available, like Master of Change, which increases your morph capacity that lets you like morph for a longer amount of time into like these hidden objects. And then there's ones that like decrease your cooldown and things. And it shows the cost, which is like it's filling basically essentially like filling the meter up with stuff that you gain through battling and, and doing well. Yeah, and then it shows like if you look at 
you, ha you can have up to four slots, like that's your availability. Mm -hmm. And it shows like what the required medals are for unlocking additional slots. So oh, right okay. now I need 20 more of the gold medals. That's all I'm missing to get my second slot. So from the same closet, you can select avatar and uh, you have various items that you can use to customize them. So when you start off the game, you pick from a set number of characters, but you can further customize them here. So you have uh, headgear, you know, you can have like, like my character can have glasses or nose tape or um, an eye patch. So there's just different like looks you can have. I really like that they give you different music options too. Like you unlock them. I have the one that's called We're Next because it just sounds like, in the fight, it sounds really cool. It's like, okay, I get to listen to something that pumps me up. I like it. Other aspects of the closet, we have battle emotes. Um, you start off with some pretty standard ones. So you have your, your hey there, you have your cry for when you lose uh, and your good job, which, you know, these would be nice little things to kind of communicate to your teammates if you choose to do a more squad form. But yeah, that's basically what all the features are of the closet, which is sort of just like one of the main areas that you can Check out. I also like that each of these has like a very distinctive, like you're kind of in this weird loft that you have and you have like your closet area and your like desktop with like the three monitors really speaks to me, you know? Um, so I like that they have these little personality touches and you have a cat and the cat's really fat. I know, I love that. It's so chonky, <laughs> it's a good chonk. Okay, well, that was a lot going on. I'm glad we definitely got some awesome wins in there. And Stella, holy cow, you did so well. <laughs> you should have been teaching me how to play Ninjala by the end of this. You picked it up so immediately. I loved using that corn bat. You were vicious with that spinning donut yo-yo machine. Um, yeah, that was absolutely incredible. I, it's the donut, it's all in the sprinkles, man. <laughs> and if you guys wanna get in on that action, you definitely can do that because Ninjala is already available to download right now on your Nintendo Switch for free. And again, you don't even need a subscription to Nintendo Online to play it. So jump in and we'll see you on the arena. And for more on Ninjala, keep it here at IGN. Ninjala!